do but you? I thought there was um, two more races uh, run yesterday at Rose Hill. Um, two horses that we probably should mention. Yeah. Uh, Killerton, you guys. Yeah, Killerton. Yeah. One we need to talk about. And yeah. Charming Road. He's Seven just straight. Keeps on winning. <laughs> Seven straight, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, like he, he's heading towards the uh, Epsom Handicap. Both are. Both yeah. Killerton and. and um, you guys have much thoughts on whether or not you guys think they're well, up to the well, mark? Well, one's, one's known as Delight and the other's known as Disaster. I mean, uh, <laughs> K Killerton, uh, only a handful of starts in, in what is he, a five year old now or something? Or four yeah, or five year old. But he's unbeaten too. Uh, but he's, he's four, unbeaten. Four out of four. I'll tell you what, you, you can be excited and, and get on when he goes to the barriers and know that much because they don't start him unless uh, he's ready to go. And doesn't he have a cruising speed? Uh, Trotter up to those horses, I don't think that the race was ever in doubt. Uh, Smashing type too. Absolute yeah. backup. He's, well, he'll be a stunning prospect, I suppose. He's, well, he's out of the, the, that good family. He's going to have to win a group one. He um, will, yeah. He's, he's going to have to win a but group one. But he races one. like he may be capable of winning a handicap. Possibly. possibly. Group one handicap. He's related to Thorn Park, isn't he's, he? He is, and he actually, even though he's a bay and, and, and Thorn Park was a, the chestnut, Just like. there are some similarities in, 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 the, in their appearance. Uh, yeah. Very athletic, very strong. Um, it was an expensive yearling. I think it was a two hundred thousand dollar yearling. Um, just had been beset with problems, um, but the horse that I think has got some considerable upside. And Tim Hart's doing yeah. a terrific job with him. Uh, yeah, I think the horse has looked terrific. Tim is fine. Well, well like I said, fine. every time he takes him to the barriers, you can bet, get, get on him with confidence because he's won. Um, and, and I think you know, it's testament to him to, to keep him together. I suppose he's obviously a horse with problems, but we keep saying it. But isn't that the best man in the stud book? Uh, Denise's Joy Family. Yeah, it's, it's, it really um, is. It's, it keeps throwing up winners and. Um, yeah, it's it's a in Australia. Best start book in Australia. Yeah, in, in Australia. I don't want to go Australasia. into. Australia. Oh, I don't want to go Australasia <laughs> because we do have the eight carat family to contend with. Yeah, sure. eight carat. Yeah, yeah. There's, 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 uh, there's a few overseas that would uh, would would come up. Yeah, but well. it is an, the so, uh, Denise's uh, Joy family really. is just amazing. Uh, they've been doing it for generations now, how many decades? Yeah, no, and it's good that there's a now um, with Thorn Park you've got a stallion there, and sure. hopefully, um, look, he started off just fair. Um, I don't know that he's going to be a, um, a breed shape or anything like that, but um, if he can throw a few, that'll be good. But uh, he's yet to meet Killerton that is. I mean, he's unbeaten, four out of four. He was impressive yesterday, but he's yet to meet any real quality opposition. Oh, sure. Um, he's so he's got to step up. Yeah, he is a winner. He knows how to win. Uh, and he's going to step up. And uh, uh, yesterday, Melanie, Melanie was uh, there on Tim's behalf, mm -hmm. and uh, she was saying that, you know, the, the, the aim is the Epsom. Yeah, well, look, he reminds me a lot of uh, what's going to be one of his major uh, competition in the Epsom, who I think will go very, very close to winning it, and that's at Ashikaga. Um, another horse that's similarly lightly raced for an older horse, but God, I tell you, it, it, unless you've been living on Mars, you, you've seen this horse. Um, uh, at Rose Hill there two starts ago, from a wide barrier, missed the kick, was, was hammered to get to the front, got there, continued working hard, and just Bolton. Well, well uh, Gay's got two of those type of horses, hasn't she? Now she's got Bank Rob Ranch. Uh, which one do you prefer? Ash oh, I'm an Ashikaga fan. Um, I mean, look, I, I think I think you don't know yeah. until they're racing against each other, but I just think there's a sense of freak about Ashikaga. Um, extreme him well bred, um, and God, he's just going to be really well suited to the Ramwick uh, Mile. Uh, yeah, I'm a Bank Robber man myself. Is his first yeah, yeah, Ashikaga, though. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't take that away from you. Yeah, it's only one surprise we've seen. His win last start was just. Full of merit, sure. and he just strikes me as the stereotypical gay Waterhouse Randwick Miler. Miler. Randwick yeah. Miler. Yeah. He's just gonna he's gonna peak on the day. He's gonna be rock hard fit. He's gonna stay out of trouble, and he's gonna be very hard to beat. So. You know who? Ash? Uh, well, it's the Grand Army. Grand Army. Yeah, didn't he have a sense of timing for the yeah, Doncaster? Yeah, yeah, and he and won and that race. He beat Lord Essex on that last race to qualify for uh, for the Doncaster, and he just similar sort of way. Yeah. The, the way they're progressing, they've come out of nowhere like the provincials. Yep. Through town, and they just every time they go out, they they've taken a step up. And uh, Grand Army was a. Uh, oh, he was an outstanding race. I'm not saying he's as good as Grand Army, but well, I'm just remind me the way he's coming through the grades sure, like that. Majestic yearling too. Uh, he, I think he, uh, Alan Bell is just one of the oh, best in the business. Exactly. When he's uh, I think he was a three hundred thousand dollar yearling, and um, it was we're all waiting for him to come out, and it took a long time for him to, to get to the races. Get the races, but, that's right. Um, but when he finally got there, he was outstanding. Um, yeah. Yeah, this bloke's a real race also. He is, and, and as I said, like the, the Tennessee family, it's generally a spring two-year-old family. And they don't yeah, may so race on a three-year-old, but this bloke's uh, totally different. He just doesn't know. Like, he just hopefully he doesn't get a phone call. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he doesn't know who's going. Uh, <laughs> and Charming Road, seven out of seven. Mm -hmm. Command's a good stallion. He's, um, Isn't he? Horse. Yeah, we, we still haven't really seen uh, anywhere near the best of Commands, in my opinion, because he's a horse, again, like in Costa de Lago, came from the bottom, 
was serving the sixth and seventh ranked mayors at Woodlands at eight thousand dollars, and and has, has steadily gone up. And now we're starting to see the progeny come from his uh, higher fees yes, and, and the better yeah, quality mayors. Sure. Um, he's got a huge upside, and, and as a stallion that could potentially uh, go for a title at, at, at some point going forward, um, as his competition, the flying spurs and encosters are getting a bit older, he's got a couple of years on them. So. I think um, I, I think he's just an outstanding horse, and, and this bloke um, he's just got a huge upside. It's out of uh, rhythmic charm, the Safford mare. Yeah, uh, she had a group one, didn't she? Yeah, I think she did over a mile and a half. Or, no, no, or, champagne. Do you want a champagne stakes? Oh, as a two year old, as, as yeah, a baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, she so got one as a two year old filly. No, though. she didn't. She was um, she was just one of those that um, she had a day, and, and and she won a group one, and um, yeah, she's been a fairly moderate producer up until him, so. Uh, but it's good to see you get one away. Yeah, it keeps on winning. Once again, uh, similar to um, Kiloton, he's yet to beat anything of note. Like yesterday's race, you go through it and really, I mean, you know, the horses that were placed behind him are superstars, you know? No, no, he hasn't been beating much and he didn't beat that much again today, but uh, as I said, an owner's delight. I mean. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, don't take that away from him. I'd love to own him also. Yeah. However, but when we're talking about the spring the future, and we're talking about yeah. horses to follow sure. leading into the Epsom handicap, I mean, yeah. I don't put this bloke no. No. anywhere well, in a league.